Let's do this problem. It says biochemists have discovered more than 400 mutant varieties of hemoglobin, the blood protein that carries oxygen throughout the body. A physician studying a variety, uh, a physician studying a variety associated with a fatal disease first finds its molar mass. She dissolves 21.5 mg of the protein in water at 5 degrees Celsius to make 1.50 mils of solution and measures an osmotic pressure of 3.61 torr. What's the molar mass of this protein? So the first thing we need to do or think about is, well, what is the um, equation for the osmotic pressure? So when we do do that, right, we know pi equals molarity times the gas constant times T. Okay. So, um, well, we don't have molarity. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Um, the gas constant I've written down here already for you. And T is right here. But T is not in the appropriate units. Okay, So we're going to have to convert that. So in order to do that, we just put 273, add 273 to it. Kelvin. So 278.0, um, I guess. Let's put 273.0 or 1. Kelvin. OK. Um, so let's rearrange this equation to solve for molarity. So molarity equals pi divided by RT. Everybody okay with that? Okay. But pi here is in units of torr, right? So we're going to have to convert that before we do anything as well. So do you remember the conversion factor between torr and ACM? 760, 760, yeah. And I got 4.75 times 10 to the negative 3 ATM. Okay, so we've got uh, pressure in the right uh, units. We've got temperature in the right units. So let's go ahead and figure out what the molarity of this is. Okay, so let's so again, I like to do this for you guys kind of the baby way where you break up everything into um, dividing big, right? So let's just do that. So 0 0.0821 liter ATM per one mole Kelvin. Okay, so you can see what our units are going to be eventually and where they cancel out. Okay, and then we're going to multiply this by uh, 278 Point 0.1 or point 0.0, whatever you got. Kelvin. So cancel, cancel there. Cancel, cancel there, right? Liters, or nothing divided by liters divided by moles is moles per liter. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, wonderful. So let's go ahead and plug and chug now. So divided by 0.0821. Divide that by two seventy and um, just to make sure, right? So okay, so times ten to the negative four um, molar. Okay, so do you guys remember? Um, what molar is here. So that's moles per liter, right? So remember, we're looking for the molar mass of this thing. So we still got to figure out, well, what is the number of moles, right? So um, this is 
moles per one liter, like that. So um, the molar mass, right, is going to be uh, the number of moles, or the number of grams per mole, right? So let's write that down over here. Grams per mole. So notice, we've got grams here, or milligrams, which we can convert to grams. Is everybody okay with that? And we've got moles here. But this is moles per liter. Did we have a liter of solution? 1.5 mils, right? So 1.5 mils. So we're going to have to figure out, well, how many moles, this is how many moles is in a liter. But we're going to figure out how many moles is in 1.5 mils. Is everybody okay with what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, wonderful. So we want to remember 1 liter, 1,000 mils times 1.5 mils, like that, right? If we cancel, 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 that should give us the number of moles of protein. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, so let's do that. Divided by 1,000 times 1.5. Okay, so the number of moles of protein we have is 3.12 times 10 to the negative 7 moles. Got that? Moles of protein? Wonderful. So now I'm actually going to have to erase some of this, so I'll have enough, enough space on the board to continue. Can I erase this part of the board? Would anybody have any problem with that? Okay, so the mass of the protein is given to us in milligrams here, but we want that in grams, right? Okay, so um, the mass of the protein in grams is going to be 1, 2, 3, right? So 0 0.0215 grams, like that. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, so do we have the grams of the protein now? How many grams we got? Do we got how many mils we got? Help me out. Do we have those things? Yes, yes we do, right? Is that all we need for the molar mass? Yeah. Right? So now it's just plug and chug. Okay, so molar mass equals the grams, which is this, 0 0.0215 grams, divided by the number of moles, 3.12 times 10 to the negative 7 moles. Okay? And it's a protein. Right? So for all you biologists, would you expect that to be a very high molar mass or a very low molar mass? High. Very, very high. Very high. So let's see what it is. So 0 0.0215 divided by that answer. And I get something that's 6.89 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4. Four grams per mole. Pretty big molar mass. Okay. okay, any questions on that one? I know there was a lot of steps, okay? So watch out about all the steps. Just make sure you're solving for the things you're solving for, okay? So you know what molar mass is. Look for number of moles, look for grams, things like that, okay? Questions before I kill it? Wonderful.